Sheepy, and today I'll be showing you how to make that cool seamless transition that you just saw in that preview. So what you have to do first is gather two clips. I have my two clips right here and sync it up with your beat. So as you saw, I already have it synced up. What you have to do now is you see this, you see this part right here on the left side, enable motion blur, click that, uh, highlight both of your, your clips here and then right cl click on this box, left click on the box it makes it so there's motion blur once there's a transition. So now, what you have to do, go on the right side to effects and presets, type in motion, uh, motion, and get motion tile here. Drag it onto your clip, make both outputs 300, and click on mirror edges. So what this does is when you zoom out, it will be mirrored so it doesn't just look like a black screen. So what you have to do now is go to the left side here, right click, click on new, and then go to null object. So, and what you have to do now is make the null object uh, be in sync with your first clip. So you have to split it, split with control shift D and then click delete. And there you go. See, it should look like this. It should just be on top of your clip. Now copy the null object, go to your, to your second clip and paste it and put it on top and then cut it to match with your second clip. It should look like this. So now, what you have to do is, see this squiggly line on the left side? Hold left click on it and drag it to your null. Now do the same with your second clip. If I'm going too fast, I'm sorry, just try to slow down the video or you can replay it. Okay, so now that you've done that, now onto the transition part. So what you have to do is go to around the middle of your first clip and then press S. Okay, now you, you pulled up your scale, now press Shift P. What this does is it also pulls up your position and scale. So now what you have to do is right click on position, click separate dimensions. What this does, you can control the X, which is horizontal and Y, which is vertical of your clip. So to the left of it, you should see there's a little clocks. Just click on them. What this does is it starts the animation. Go to the second last frame to, of your clip and try to match this clip with this one. Make it kind of look at least a little bit similar since you're zooming in on the exact frame. Just use the, sh use the scale and use the position to control where you want it to zoom. Uh, this for me should be okay. That looks fine. I might need to shift the position a little bit more to the right. There we go. Now highlight all of your three keyframes here. Drag it towards the end. Now highlight all of your keyframes and right click and then go to keyframe assistant and go to easy ease. What this does is it's like a, a smooth, it's like a smooth transition. So a shorter way to do that is just clicking F9 on your keyboard. Usually I would do that. So yeah. Okay. Now what you got to do is click on your position, your X position. And you see on the left side, it says graph editor. Click that. Now what you have to do is highlight a part of your graph and, and then make it so how I make it. Just try to copy mine. So what it should look like is the entire right side should be at the maximum. You can't move it more to the right and more to the bottom of this left side line and make this close enough to here. It should look something like this. Now go to your Y position and do the exact same thing. It should look relatively similar to this one. It doesn't really matter if it's the exact same, don't worry about it. And do the same thing with the scale. Okay, now, now that you have that, we'll see how it looks. Okay, it should look something like this. If it doesn't, you might have missed something, just rewind. It's fine. But now onto the second clip. So the second clip is actually much easier. All you have to do is press S, and then you animate the scale. Go to the middle of the clip, add a keyframe here, go back to the first frame of your clip and make the scale 25. Okay. I forgot to mention, you should uh, go to your first clip, uh, go to effects controls, click on motion tile, uh, copy it, and then paste it onto your second clip. 
I, I'm sorry, I actually forgot about doing that. Anyways, so back to your scale. Uh, you, now that you have that, press F9, and now it's the easy ease, and go to your graph editor, and basically make this, the graph the exact same as the last time, except in the opposite direction. Uh, it should look something like this. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'll show you. It should look something like this. And that's your seamless zoom. Thank you so much for watching. If this helped you, please like and subscribe. I'm desperate, please. Okay, I'll see you guys.